open up your mouth. Come on, won't you open up your mouth? Come on, Levi, to rise.
trust is in you. Our hope is in you. Everything we have, we give it to you. You're a man that cannot lie. You're all-knowing. You're all-sufficient. Yes, you are. We believe in you, Jesus. 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 Say yes. to sit at your feet this morning. Father God, hear our prayers this morning. Father God, we come interceding for our nation this morning. We come interceding for families this morning. We come interceding for our neighbors this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, hear our prayers, Lord God. Father God, we come with a sensitive heart. Father God, we come interceding, Lord God, for our government this morning. We come interceding for our churches this morning. Father God, we come to you, our mediator. Lord Jesus, we know that you love us. We know that you died on the cross for our sins. Father God, we have victory because you shed your blood on the cross. We have victory because you laid down your life. 
we have victory Lord God oh because you went to the cross and you were raised from the dead father God we come from a place of victory we come from a place of joy we believe in your resurrecting power we believe in the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus still saves the blood of Jesus it still redeems the blood of Jesus it still restores the blood of Jesus it still transforms the blood of Jesus it still works the blood of Jesus overpowers the enemy the blood of Jesus is washed as clean as snow the blood of Jesus covers us the blood of Jesus protects us so Lord God we come to you father asking for salvation oh we intercede Lord for our families saved our unsaved loved ones Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus, those that be lost, Father God, we pray that they be drawn unto you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you are the door. Lord God, you are the door. And if we enter in, we shall be saved. So we pray, Father God, that you draw all men unto you. Father God, you're the resurrection and you are the life. If anyone believeth in you, though he were dead, yet he shall live. So we thank you for life this morning. We thank you for life this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you came to give abundant life. Though the enemy came to steal, kill, and destroy, you came to give life. Father, thank you for giving life. Give life to the sin-sick soul, Father God. Oh, give life. Redeem, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Save all across this world. Father God, we know that your Holy Spirit can penetrate far across the nation, far across the seas. You transcend all barriers. You transcend all ethnicities. You transcend all languages. You have no barriers. Father God, you can go where man cannot go. So we ask, Father, reach, reach across the seas. Save, Lord God, save the Jew and the Gentile. We pray for Jews to accept you, for we know that you are the Messiah. We know, Father God, that you shall return again. So save the Jew, Lord. Save the Jew, Lord. We pray that their eyes are open, that their ears are open, that their hearts receive you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Save our government officials, Lord. Save the judges in the Supreme Court. Lord, Lord God, save all across this nation. Lord, save every dignitary. Save every diplomat. Save, Lord God. We decree and we declare salvation for our nation. We decree and we declare salvation for this world. We decree and we declare salvation for the lost. Save the homeless, Lord. Go into the shelters. Reach into the prisons. Save those that are bound. Loose them, Lord. Loose them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for there is freedom. There is freedom and salvation. There is joy in you, Father God. We pray that our loved ones experience the joy and the love 
of the master, the joy and the love of the Savior, Lord. We don't want anyone to be lost. So we stand in the gap this morning. We stand in the gap for those who cannot pray for themselves. Lord, have your way, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you be glorified, Lord. We pray that you be high and lifted up. Father God, we pray, oh God, for your kingdom, for your territory to be enlarged. Oh Lord God, let your kingdom reign on this earth in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We bless you. We bless you. We honor you. We honor you. No one shall be lost. None of our family members shall be lost. None of our loved ones shall be lost. And we thank you this morning. We bless you for it is done. We call it done, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving. Thank you for redeeming. Thank you, Lord God, for changing hearts, Lord God. Thank you for circumcising hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, those that do not believe that they receive you, receive the Savior in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, our fathers and our mothers, our sons and our daughters, they shall believe. Thank you, Lord, for saving. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you. my 
the Lord. I am the Lord. You're name come on open up your mouth and give the Lord some praise on today come on open up your mouth open up your mouth open up your mouth open up your mouth despite how you are feeling open up your mouth despite the pain in your body open up your mouth despite how much money you have in your bank account open up your mouth despite what's going on in this world right now open up your mouth and give the Lord some praise hallelujah hallelujah before I get started, I need to read a scripture, and it's coming from Daniel 6, verses 15 through 22. And it says, Then the men went as a group to the king Darius and said to him, Remember, your majesty, that according to the law of Medes and the Persians, no decree or edict that the king issues can be changed. So the king gave order, and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May the God whom you serve continuously, re continually rescue you. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called Daniel in an anguished voice. Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God whom you serve continuously, continually been able to rescue you from the lions? Daniel answered and said, may the king live forever. My God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I have... I, was found innocent in his sight, nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. So the Lord impressed this upon my heart to pray for deliverance. The reason being is because whether you're in this sanctuary or whether you're watching, many of you have been struggling, many of you feel trapped, and many of you feel like you've been praying for a very long time for a breakthrough, for healing, for deliverance, for restoration, and it feels like it hasn't happened. And for many of you, the devil has been saying, this is it for you. This is all that God, God has forgotten about you. He's walked away from you. No matter how much you pray, no matter how much you go to church, you're still going to be sick. You're not going to have enough money. You will be a failure. But the reason being is because the devil has held up your breakthrough. The devil has held up your healing. And I come today to speak a word of encouragement and pray for your deliverance because I'm telling you today, deliverance is nigh. So I need everybody, everybody, just follow me. Everybody in this sanctuary, everybody who is volunteering on today, everybody who is watching via stream, whatever you are needing deliverance from, I need you to start praying for it right now. Whatever the situation is, whatever it is, I need you to start praying for deliverance now because deliverance is nigh if you have no prayer request I need you to pray for your neighbor I need you to pray for somebody that's been on your heart because today we are praying for deliverance so father in the name of Jesus we come to bless you we come to honor you we come to uh, praise your name oh God because you are an amazing God because there is no one before you because there is no one beside you you are great and you are a mighty God you are a holy God you are a righteous God come on church open up your mouth come on church open up your mouth I need you today church to lift up your voice like a trumpet out of Zion for the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever for his truth endures to all generations for you are amazing oh God for the fact that our hearts are still beating we have enough to say thank you for for the fact that we still have blood running warm in our veins we have enough to say thank you for for the fact that we are not in a hospital bed we are not sleeping underneath a bridge. We have to say thank you. From danger seen and unseen, you protected us. From danger seen and unseen, you kept us. For you are the Lord God, our shield. You are the Lord God, our battle axe. You are the Lord God who sits high and who looks low. You are the Lord God who has no respect of a person, oh God. That what you've done for others, you will do for us. You are great and you are mighty God. We say great are you, Lord God. We come to humble 
ourselves before you on today and we come to say that the Lord our God is mighty the Lord our God is great the Lord our God is greatly to be praised from the rising of the Sun to the setting down of the same your name is worthy to be praised Lord I need you right now in this moment to come invade this space oh God we want heaven on earth right now God in the name of Jesus we want the angels to come down oh God and come and visit us in this moment oh God so we give you our very best we give you our very best we give you a hundred percent oh God we're not gonna give you half on today we open up our hearts to you oh God and we come to lift your name on today for the name of our Lord is a strong tower and the righteous can run therein and be safe for you are a bridge over troubled water for you are an amazing God and there is no one before you there is no one beside you for the Bible declares that you have no rivals for the Bible declares declares that you have no equals that now and forever that now and forever our God reigns you reign above every situation why because your name is above every name your name is above sickness your name is above disease your name is above racism your name is above sexism your name is above political corruptness your name is above neo-nazis your name is above domestic terrorism your name is higher your name is greater your name is greater than our dreams than our aspirations than our pain than our problems your name is great so we lift up the name of Jesus we lift up the name of Jesus we lift up the name of Jesus wonderful counselor mighty God everlasting father Prince of Peace Almighty God the ancient of days the lily of the valley the bright and morning star the one who was and is and is to come for you are Alpha you are Omega and we worship you our Lord for God you are worthy for God you are worthy no matter what it looks like God you are worthy no matter what it seems like God you are worthy no matter how it ends up for me you are worthy you are worthy to be praised so it's a privilege and an honor to say great are you Lord great are you Lord because it's your breath it's your breath in my lungs it's your breath in my lungs it is a privilege and an honor to pour out my praise on you to break open my alabaster box come on church break open your alabaster box we're not going for the normal today break it open on today give them all you have on today for the Lord our God is our Redeemer for the Lord our God is our restore for the Lord our God is our soon coming King I have confidence in you that my Redeemer lives I have confidence in this very thing that he that begun a good work shall perform it until the day of Christ Jesus so we welcome you in oh God not just into this prayer but into our lives we welcome you in we move everything we move everything everybody out of the way on this morning God in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 God I come to you right now for every single person who needs deliverance I come to you right now in the name of Jesus for every single person whose back is up against the wall I come to you for every single person who feels like this is it for them that they have nothing left that they are empty whether they are in this church whether they are streaming whether they are in this world both sinners and saved oh God I come to the God of deliverance because you oh God have rescued us over and over and over and over again God so we come to you one more time oh God asking oh God that you would deliver us from the hand of the enemy asking oh God that you would break us free oh God from things and from people that are not like you in the name of Jesus for your word declares your word declares the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them and he delivers them from all their troubles I need every righteous person just to open up your mouth and to give him praise for whatever you're struggling with once you cries out he will hear you and he will deliver you from whatever it is for whoever they are the Lord your God will hear your cry we call on you right now oh God because your word says no weapon formed against your people shall be able to prosper and we thank you that every dart of the enemy we thank you that every strong 
stronghold. We thank you that every weapon that is formed will not prosper. For why should I be afraid of the arrows by day, nor the terror by night? For the Bible declares that my God has makes a thousand fall at his right side and ten thousand at his right hand. For the Lord, your word says that you know no defeat. You know no rivals. You know no defeat. You know no loss. So we ask God, we get on our knees as a church. We get on our, back on our knees as a people and ask God that you would come and deliver us, oh God, from whether it's something that we just so, so happen just to run into or something that we are responsible for. We ask God for deliverance on today in the name of Jesus. God, I rebuke every Babylonian in our lives, every single person who smiles in our face but tries to stab us in our back. I rebuke every single person who wishes to whisper and conspire against us, whether they're in this church, whether they're in our families, whether they're in this world, I rebuke every single person that wishes to do us harm. I plead the blood of Jesus against every single person that wishes to make us fail, that wants to see us fall flat on our face. But the devil is a liar on today. I thank you that whatever is being planned right now against your people, it ain't gonna work, it ain't gonna work, it ain't gonna work, it ain't gonna work. I thank you, oh God, and I plead the blood of Jesus against the wild beasts of this world, oh God. I plead the blood of Jesus against fear. I plead the blood of Jesus against anxiety. I plead the blood of Jesus against depression. I plead the blood of Jesus against health issues. I plead the blood of Jesus against mental health issues. I plead the blood of Jesus against financial issues. I plead the blood of Jesus against relational issues. I plead the blood of Jesus against comparison. I plead the blood of Jesus against generational curses. I plead the blood of Jesus against laziness that you will not be devoured. You will not be destroyed. You will not be devoured. While you are in the lions, then God is going to shut the mouths of the lions. God is going to shut the mouths of the predators. Every single thing that is coming against you, every single thing that is coming against your house, I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. Right now. Right here. Right now. Right now. Say the blood, church. Come on. Plead the blood, church. Plead the blood, church. Plead the blood of Jesus, church, in the name of Jesus. God, I rebuke every demonic spirit every demonic spirit that is holding up our breakthrough every demonic spirit that is holding up our healing every demonic spirit that is holding up our miracle I plead the blood of Jesus against the Prince of Persia I plead the blood of Jesus against every foul spirit that is holding up Gabriel I ask God in this moment that you would release Michael and his angels to come and fight for us oh God I plead the blood right now and I ask God that you would release Michael right now in the name of Jesus to come to every household to come to every community to come to every city to come to every country oh God and fight on our behalf God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and God we will forever give your name the glory we will forever give your name the praise we thank you oh God that everything and everyone that is coming to attack us that you will destroy them oh God that every single person every single thing that tried to throw us in the lions that you are going to throw them into the lion's den we were going to throw it into the lion's den and I rejoice today for I shall recover it all I reap for the harvest God promised me I take back what the devil stole from me and I rejoice rejoice church rejoice church rejoice for I shall recover it all everything every person that has been taken every single issue that has tried to hold me down I shall recover I shall recover it all. We thank you, God, because you are the Lord of deliverance. You've done it before and you can do it again. We give your name the praise and we say worthy is your name. And we give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' name. Church, can you just do me one favor for 30 seconds? Can you just give God the best praise that you have? For the next 30 seconds, can you just lift up your voices like a trumpet out of Zion? Because the God of your salvation has heard your cry. Because the God of your salvation is about to deliver you. Because the God of your salvation is releasing angels. The God of your salvation is relieving angels, releasing angels, releasing angels in this atmosphere, in your home, in your church, in your city, in Jesus' name.
the name of Jesus. We call for the healer in the name of Jesus. Who we call you in worship and prayer, you must become. So we call you Rafa right now in the name of Jesus. Rafa, show up right now in the name of Jesus. Rafa, heal right now in the name of Jesus. Heal in the sanctuary in the name of Jesus. Heal via the stream in the name of Jesus. Let your healing virtue flow right now in the name of Jesus. We call you healer. Healer, come in the room right now in the name of Jesus. Healer, come in the name of Jesus. Heal our bodies right now of Jesus. Every system in our body that's causing us to live, touch right now in the name of Jesus. Touch our respiratory systems. Touch our circulatory systems. Touch our lymphatic systems. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. Heal or come in the room, oh God. Heal cancer in the name of Jesus. Heal diabetes in the name of Jesus. Heal high blood pressure in the name of Jesus. Heal heart disease in the name of Jesus heal right now in the name of Jesus we come against low blood pressure we come against strokes oh God we come against heart attacks in the name of Jesus anything oh God we come against fainting spells we come against asthma we come against circulatory system issues we come against nervous system issues heal right now in the name of Jesus. Every knee must bow, oh God, and call you God. They must bow and call you healer. Healer, come in the room in the name of Jesus. Let your healing oil flow. Blow, and I saw Healing virtue flow in the name of Jesus. Heal mental health issues. Heal depression. Heal anxiety. Heal bipolarism. Heal schizophrenia in the name of Jesus. Every mental concern, oh God, touch in the name of Jesus. Every mental anguish, touch right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for how you're going to heal. We give you glory for how you're going to heal. Heal every sickness in the name of Jesus. You were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace is upon you. And it is by your stripes that we are healed. So we call you healer. Run this soul. Healer, come in the room in the name of Jesus. Go down every aisle. Go across every row. Go to every house in the name of Jesus. And touch and heal in the name of Jesus. Touch the people on the stream. Though they might not be in the building, let the same oil flow in the name of Jesus. We thank you for how you're going to heal. We give you glory for how you're going to heal. Touch our bodies in the name of Jesus. God, give us the will to live healthy. Give us the will to eat healthy. Give us the will to lose weight if it's that our desire. Help us, oh God, to be like you. You said we must present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. That includes physical being, oh God. So actually you help us to control our physical being. Help us to have portion control. Help us not to overeat, oh God. Help us to realize when we are full, oh God, so that we might not operate in gluttony. Oh God, I touch you heal in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for how you're going to continue to heal. We thank you for how your healing is flowing even now. We sense your healing power in the room. We thank you, oh God. We give you glory, honor, and great praise for showing up for us today. We stay here in your presence. We honor your very presence. We honor you for deliverance. We honor you for healing. We honor you for setting us free. In the name of Jesus, God, for hearing our prayers, we thank you. Come on and lift your voices and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Come on and begin to bless the name of the Lord. We thank you, oh God. We magnify your holy name. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen and amen.
for healing us, Jesus. Thank you for healing our hearts. Thank you for healing our emotions. Thank you for healing our bodies. You are the healer. Thank you for healing us, Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. God, we bless you and we praise you. We glorify you and we honor you. We cry, great Jehovah. You are the one true and living God. And we bow before you, dear Father. We take a few moments to honor your presence. Your train is filling the temple. And we thank you. And we praise you. And we glorify you. I'll be interceding for the next few moments in the area of financial wellness. Psalm 24 says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and those that dwell therein. And so let's take a moment, few moments to pray to Jehovah Jireh, the Lord God, our provider. God, we thank you and we praise you. We adore you and we magnify you. There's nothing that you cannot do. There's nothing that you will not do. If it's not done, it's because you've willed not to do it. But never because you cannot do it. So we cry out to you even now in the area of financial wellness. Make us whole in our finances. Make us whole in our money. Help us to be good stewards over what you place in our hands. Let the enemy not devour and eat up our money and our finances. Help us, oh God, to give you first fruits. Help us to bring the tithes into the storehouse. We know the blessings of the Lord, they make us rich and they add no sorrow. So we come against the sorrow of misbudgeting. We come against the sorrow of mismanagement. We come against the sorrow of recession. We come against the sorrow of inflation. In you, God, there's no lack. You're the all-sufficient one. You have every resource. You are the source of our strength. You are the source of our lives. So we thank you for our skills. We thank you for our abilities. We thank you for our education. We thank you for our intellect. We thank you for every degree. We thank you for every certificate. We thank you for every trade. We thank you for everything you placed in our hands. We thank you for everything you placed in our minds we thank you oh god for a mind to work we thank you oh god for healthy bodies to work we thank you for a right mind to think we thank you oh god that in you there's no failure and there's no lack so we thank you for supplying every need. We thank you that no bill will come that we can't meet. We thank you that no payment will be due that we can't pay. We pray, oh God, for the windows of heaven to open up and pour out blessings and pour out favor and pour out grace and pour out resources. We praise you, oh God, because we're lenders and we're not borrowers. We're above and we're not beneath we're first and we're never last so we thank you that we lack nothing we have food to eat we have water to drink we have roof and shelter we have a place to lay our head we have cars to drive we have money for metro we have money for uber and lyft we thank you because we lack nothing we roam about freely because you give us what we need you meet us right at the point of our need so 
Lord, we thank you and we praise you. We thank you for increasing our faith. We thank you for increasing our trust. We trust you with our money. We don't trust the bank. We don't trust investors. We don't trust our 401k. We don't trust our savings. Our trust is in you. We trust in you. We lean not to our own understanding, but we trust that you're directing our path. We follow your word. We follow your plan. Open up resources. Open up money. We come against debt. Help us to pay it off. Give us strategies. Give us tactics. Give us budgets. Give us plans. Help us to be debt free. Help us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, to be good stewards. Help us to be not tempted to buy things we don't need and to shop for things we don't need. We come against the spirit of greed. We pray, oh God, that you will bless us to be a blessing. That not only will we have enough, but we'll have more than enough. And we'll bless our brothers. And we'll bless our sisters. And we'll bless our family. And we'll bless our church. And we'll honor you with our finances. Knowing that if it's well with our soul, you'll make it well with our money. If it's well with our soul, you'll make it well with our money. Because we were once young and now we're old, but we've never seen the righteous forsaken. We've never seen seed begging for bread. So help us to be right so we won't be forsaken. Help us to be right so we won't be forgotten. Help us to be right in our relationship with you. Help us to honor you by sowing knowing that you give seed to the sower and you produce and bring about a great harvest so we thank you for abundance we thank you for surplus we thank you for overflow we thank you for more than enough we give you praise and we give you thanks in jesus name amen We give you the glory, Lord. We honor your name. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. We love to call your name. It's something we cannot explain. That happens when we proclaim your great name. Your great name. Come on, say, call your name. Call your name. It's, something it's something we cannot explain. We cannot explain. That happened when we, we proclaim your, your great name. King Jesus. Come on, say, King Jesus. Call on, call on your name. Ooh, we love 
your name is something we cannot explain that happens when we proclaim your great name your great name come on lift your voice and say it's something we cannot explain come on say that happens when we power in the name of Jesus so much power in your name there is power in come on say so much power yes Lord there is power in so much power in
somebody say Something happens when I go Come on somebody let that out to Jesus say Something says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land we're going to pray for our government officials and our leaders this morning let us pray together father we thank you we thank you God that you have all power in your hands your word declares, God, that you remove kings and you set up kings. You give wisdom and knowledge to those who have understanding. So today, God, we come lifting up our president and our government officials this morning. God, we ask, God, that you will come and that you will meet every single need in their life right now in the name of Jesus. God, most of all, God, that you'll give them wisdom as they lead this world. Father, we thank you, God, that you have set up kings and also you bring down kings, which lets us know, God, that you have all power in your hand. And so, Father, as you've called us to respect our leaders, Father, we ask, God, that you will come and that you convict their hearts and their mind in the name of Jesus. God, that you will give them the mind of Christ. God, that you will change their hearts in the name of Jesus. God, we come not just to look for laws to be changed, because, God, we know if you change their heart, God, that laws will be changed. So, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, God, that you will come and that you bring peace, Father, right now now in the name of Jesus. God, that you bring wisdom in the name of Jesus. Father, we come. Father, we ask that you remove every single distraction of the enemy. God, we loose right now unity in the, uh, the Senate house, in the Congress house. Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for unity. We ask for love to prevail in the name of Jesus. God, we declare in your word that you said in your word, God, that the hands of the leaders are in your hand and you turn it so father we ask God that you will turn the hearts of the leaders back to you that you will change the hearts of the minds of the leaders back to you in the name of Jesus we come against the hand of the enemy father right now in the name of Jesus we come against war we come against every distraction of the enemy father right now in the name of Jesus and God that you'll bring them clarity that you'll give them wisdom that you'll give them direction we cover our president under the blood of Jesus that no weapon that's formed that gets him shall prosper in the name of Jesus God lead him as only you can lead his family cover him father right now in the name of Jesus God as we up, have this upcoming election God 
we ask God that your will be done. God, that your will be done. We come against every single lie. We come against every single attack of the enemy. And God, we plead the blood of Jesus. And God, we declare it so in Jesus' name. Amen. sake to every human authority whether to the emperor as a supreme authority or to governors who sit by him to punish those who do wrong and to command those who do right for it is God's will that by doing good you should silence the ignorant talk of foolish people and so we are praying this morning for the government for the laws we are praying against domestic terrorism we are praying and covering our churches and our schools we are praying for our children father in the name of Jesus come on saints we come to you Lord and we give you thanks and we thank you father for this atmosphere of prayer we thank you Lord God that you have taught us God that men and women should always pray and not faint we thank you Lord God that we have access clear access to you we thank you father Lord God for your voice and partnering with us Lord we thank you for this opportunity father to be able to come boldly to your throne so on this morning Lord we lift up father our churches God that have been attacked by the enemy God in the name of Jesus and we're praying oh father Lord God for every church that has Bible study and fellowships Lord and prayer meetings oh God and church services Lord and we just plead the blood of Jesus father over the churches right now in the name of Jesus father we come against every demonic attack every spirit of terrorism God that would try to come against us in the name of Jesus and we pray and we decree and declare Lord Father that you Lord God will get the glory we pray we loose warring angels now oh God Father over our sanctuaries in the mighty name of Jesus we're praying oh Father Lord God that you would have your way in the name of Jesus we're praying oh Father on tomorrow God and on the Sundays and the Mondays and Lord God even our father our choir rehearsals and praise team rehearsals lord god that a blood would cover lord in the name of jesus uh, and we come against every device and every demonic spirit god that would try to annihilate lord uh, what you are doing you said in your word upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell it will not prevail so we come against you now in the mighty name of jesus us a spirit stronghold of terrorism we come against you in the name of Jesus and we call on the name of the Lord for the name of the Lord is a strong tower so we pray oh God that you Lord God father would expose expose the minds of these people oh God expose the minds Lord in the name of Jesus call someone to tell call someone Lord God to father God to contact authorities in the name of Jesus Lord the last church God that person was a member of the church so we pray now father that you would open our eyes God that you would help us Lord father to be watchful and to be prayerful oh God in the name of Jesus Lord we pray now they're calling for gun control God but we pray God father that 
you, Lord God, would deal, God, Father, with the politicians. In the name of Jesus, we're praying, oh God, Father, that they just won't say gun control. And Father, they don't believe in it. But we are praying, God, that you would raise up, Lord, men and women, oh God, that will cry aloud and spare not. In the name of Jesus, we are praying now, Lord, for our schools. Father, a school is ending, God. We're lifting up camp. Uh, 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 we're lifting up summer camps, uh, programs, Father, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we're praying now, Lord, uh, a blood covering over our children, over, Lord, the camp counselors, uh, Father, those that will be working uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, you told us, God, in your word, God, uh, Father, to stand. Uh, and so we're taking, Lord God, our rightful place, Lord. Uh, and Father, we are standing. Uh, we're taking authority over every demonic spirit, uh, Father, that would try to come against our children in the name of Jesus. And God, Father, you said in your word, whatever we bind on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. And whatever we loose on earth, it shall be loosed. So we bind every spirit of murder in the name of Jesus. And as we hold on to the horns of the altar, we cry out, God, Father, save us, oh God. Father, do what you need to do. We break and annihilate every demonic spirit in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray, God, Father, that you would get the glory. Father, we thank you that your word says, Lord, the government it sits on your shoulders. So we pray, Father, God, that as we're going into this election, Father, that they will be true. God, that you would, Lord God, expose those, Lord, Father, that are not true. In the name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, Father, that they have a heart, Lord, for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, and they will be men and women of integrity, oh, in the name of Jesus. So we ask you, Lord, Father, that you would touch our laws. Father, let them be your law. In the name of Jesus, Father, deal, oh God. God, with those, Lord God, that are not, Father, for us, that are not for the people, God, they're for the money, but we pray now, Lord, Father God, because you said you will fight for us, and we decree and declare, Lord, Father, God, that you would get the glory in the name of Jesus, so we come against, Lord, every assault, every plot, and every plan of the enemy now, every person is having secret meetings. God expose it in the name of Jesus. We're asking you, oh God, Father, that you, Lord God, Father, will show them, Lord, who you are. We know who you are. We know what you're able. We know that you're capable. So we ask you, Lord, Father, that you will show yourself to be the mighty God that you are, to be the strong tower that you are in the name of Jesus. So we're calling on you this morning. We're asking you, Lord, Father, that you, Lord God, send your glory on this earth, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we lift up, Lord, Father, the insurrection. Father, what they're doing now. Lord, we pray, God, for honesty. We pray, oh God, Father, those that worked, Father, with Trump. Father, those, oh God, that work with the, that group. Oh, God, Father, would you expose it? Hey, in the name of Jesus, we're asking God, Father, would they want to lie, God, turn their mouth into the truth in the name of Jesus. And we thank you now. We pray, oh, Father, God, we know you're a God of justice in the name of Jesus. So we pray now, throw your weight around in our government. We're calling on you. We even lift up, Lord, the shortage, Lord, Father, of baby food. Uh, uh, Lord God, uh, and we pray, Father, uh, God, that you, Lord God, would have your way. Uh, God, that you would deal with those in the government, Lord. Uh, those, oh God, that said, that's not my, that's not my part. Uh, I'm not doing that. Uh, Lord, uh, send help. Uh, send help, Lord God. Uh, Father, even in a gas price. 
devices. Uh, we lift that to you. Uh, we lift up, Lord God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, uh, Lord, we lay it now at your feet uh, in the name of Jesus. And we give you praise, Lord. We thank you, Father, for what you're going to do. We thank you for covering, Lord, uh, all houses of worship. Oh, God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you're teaching us, God, uh, our hands to war and our fingers to fight. Uh, thank you, Lord, that you're teaching us, Lord, uh, how to war. Uh, Father, to have a weapon in one hand, Lord. Uh, Father, and be able to see the enemy in another. Uh, in the name of Jesus, and we give you praise, and we honor you, oh, God. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And all over the sanctuary, lift your voice in worship and adoration to this awesome God. God, we cry out to you today. Strengthen our dialogue with you. Strengthen our rapport with you. Speak to our hearts, Lord. Give us a holy word. And if we can hear from you, Then we'll know what to do. I won't go alone. I'll never go on my own. Just let your spirit guide and let your word abide. Speak to our Heart, Lord, because you move mountains, you cause the walls to fall with your power, you still perform me. Thank you. you, yes, you did. Made a way. 
When it looked like all hope was lost, you, you yes, you did. Made we almost threw in the towel, but you, you, you made We almost turned our backs on you, but you, you yes, she, made made our our way. Way. Whoa, you, oh, you, yes, you, you did. You made, made our way. And we thank you for making. You move mountains. You move mountains. You pull walls to fall. With your Holy Ghost power, you still perform the miracles. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, That's impossible. That's impossible. And we're standing right here. You're still a miracle worker. There is nothing. Ain't nothing impossible for you, Jesus. We really are standing. some of the strongholds and as I call them out because it's a lot of them whatever you remember which are which of them that you remember because it's a lot of strongholds call them out because the Bible said though we walk in the flesh we do not war in the flesh for the weapons of our warfare they are not carnal but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Therefore, this morning, we cast an imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. For we know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the wicked of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, stronghold, we come this morning to take the whole armor of God so that we may stand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, we shall stand therefore in the name of Jesus. Therefore, stronghold, we come against you right now. We come not in the name of Bishop Owens, not in the name of Co-Pastor Susie Owens. We come against you in the name that is above every name. Because at the mention of that name, every knee must bow. Every stronghold must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Therefore, stronghold, you have no place in here today. Oh, the Bible said, that the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. This is the lot of the righteous. Members of this church are the lot of the righteous. 16 Rhode Island Avenue is the lot of the righteous. We come against you, you stronghold, in the name of Jesus. We come against you, you stronghold of division, the blood of Jesus against you. You stronghold of perversion. We come against you now, in the name of Jesus. We join our faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, you stronghold of sexual promiscuity. Oh, lose that man and let him go. In the name of Jesus, uh, your spirit of hold him 
a woman that I lose in the name of Jesus. We come against you now in the name of Jesus. We raise a standard against you in the name of Jesus. Oh, we come against you now. You stronghold of lies. You have no place in this place in the name of Jesus. You stronghold of error. We come against you now. You stronghold of lack. You stronghold of poverty. We stand in the name of Jesus. We call you out in the name of Jesus. We destroy your plans. You have nothing against us for this is the life of the righteous in the mighty name of Jesus. Now Lord, we release spiritual breakthrough. We release financial breakthrough. We release the gift of the Spirit to your people. We release holiness, holy living to your people. We release abundance to your people in the name of Jesus. Father, you said in your word, oh God, that if we seek you first and your righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto us. You are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. If you said it, you are God enough to bring it to pass. You, you have done it in the past and we know you will do it again because you are the same yesterday. You are the same today. And you will be the same forever. Because we call you by your name. Oh, Alpha. We call you by your last name. Omega. We call upon you now. You are the ancient of days. Nothing takes you by surprise. Oh, look upon your people. Bless them, oh God. Be with their going out. Be with their coming in. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, touch them now. Oh, touch them now. We release healing upon your people. We release breakthrough upon your people. Oh, Father, they are your people are here this morning because they believe in you, because they, they are trusting you, because they have no other God beside you. Oh, meet your people at the very point of their need. In the mighty name of Jesus, we release spiritual gift. We release the fruit of the Spirit to your people. In the name of Jesus, we release abundance. We release healing. We release breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shall live and not die. We shall fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus. Uh, no weapon from the version against God's people. It will not prosper. It will not prosper because we stand on the word of God. We said, oh, we shall live and not die. Oh, you will said we wish above all things that we prosper and be held even as our soul prospereth. Lord, as we call all these strongholds, Father, we destroy them now in the name of Jesus. Not in our own name, but in the name that is above every name. Do it for your glory. Do it for your honor. We love you, Lord. You are the best thing that has ever happened to us. For without you, we are nothing. Without you, we wouldn't even be here. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Get all the glory. Get all the honor. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We say amen. Worthy of all the praise. The name of the Lord is worthy of all the glory. As we continue in this posture of prayer, I'm going to be reading Acts 3, verses 19 and 20. And it says, Now repent of your sins and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped away. Then times of refreshment will come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send again you, Jesus, your appointed Messiah. As we begin to pray on behalf of spiritual growth and spiritual revival, the Lord dropped in my spirit that this is a time, this is about us now. We've prayed for everyone. We've been there for everybody. But now is the time that we get the refreshing that we need from the Lord. This is the time where we get what all that we need from God. Hallelujah, dear Father, we bless you and we glorify you. We honor you for your grace. We honor you for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, that you have brought us all the way 
Father, we thank you, Lord, that you woke us up this morning. We thank you, Lord, that because you woke us up this morning, that there is purpose in today. And so, Father, we thank you, Lord, that in your presence, Father, your glory is in this place. And so, Father, we dare not take for granted your glory in this place to get what it is that we need from you. So, Father, we yield ourselves to you. We yield every distraction to you. We de yield everything that's going on in our minds to you. We yield our problems to you. We yield the situation to you. We yield the report to you. And Father, we focus on you because it's you that we need. It's in you that we live and we move and we have our being. It's in you, Lord, where our hope lies. It's in your presence where there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there is pleasure forevermore. So, Father, we don't take lightly this presence. We don't take lightly your presence in this place. Father, we pray that you will meet us where we need you most, God. Meet us where we need you most. Meet us where we need you most. Meet us where we need you most. Meet us, so oh God, we give you glory. Father, we come to you and we repent. If we put things and situations and others ahead of you, God, we become so busy in other things and helping others, Father, that we sometimes miss out on you. And so, Father, we pray that you would forgive us. We pray that you would wash us. We pray that you would cleanse us. We pray, God, that you would help us in Jesus' name. So, Father, we pray now that you will restore to someone the joy of their salvation. God, in the midst of doing all kinds of things, Father, sometimes, God, we get weary. And so, Father, we pray that you would restore to someone the joy, the zeal of our salvation. In the name of Jesus, Father, we look to you. You are the author and you are the finisher of our faith. And and we can't do this life without you. We dare not even think we can do it without you. Lord, we need you. We need you to tell us where to go. We need you to tell us how to move. We need you to give us what we need in the midst of decisions. We need you to increase our faith. We need you, God, to hold on to us and don't let us go. We need you like we need our next breath. We need you like we need water as the deer pinned after the water broke so our souls long for you in a dry and thirsty land so father we bring ourselves to the altar this morning we bring ourselves to the altar we bring ourselves to the altar we bring our minds to the altar we bring our families to the altar yes god we bring our will to the altar yes lord we bring ourselves to the altar yes Lord Lord we bring ourselves to you God whatever it is that you want from us we say yes to you God we say yes we say yes to your will we say yes to your way grow us up spiritually God in the name of Jesus, grow us up. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you glory. God, that you brought us through the pandemic. And because you brought us through, there is more for us to do. In the name of Jesus. So, Father, we give you permission to do what you want to do. In the name of Jesus, as we yield to you, we thank you for revival in our lives. In the name of of Jesus. We thank you for personal revivals. God, as we get in our personal time with you, God, take us on a journey with you that we've never experienced before. In the name of Jesus, yes, God, take us, oh God, take us, Lord, on a journey with you. Woo, God, we bless
show we give you good but not a man she had a love of sire not a man in the old side oh she had not a man that a love of all shame God, we give you glory now for what you're doing in us. Father, we understand that we have these treasures in earth and vessels. God, that it will show forth your glory. That it won't be us, but it will be you. Everywhere we go, God, we thank you, Lord, that your glory will be revealed in us. That we will be the light in the name of Jesus. That we will, God, God, point people to you because we understand Jesus. Uh, that your time draws nigh uh, we give you glory now uh, and there is work that you have for us to do uh, so father we thank you now uh, for drawing us to you uh, God so that uh, God people will know uh, about you uh, and you will make your entrance uh, and one day uh, we're come you're coming back uh, you're coming back for us uh, so father uh, we won't be discouraged uh, we won't fear uh, we won't doubt out, but we know, oh God, there is a time, there is a season, there is a place, and we give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you and we give you all the praise. So, Father, we thank you for what you are doing in us. We thank you, Lord, for the next half of this year, spiritually, will be the best that we've ever had. God, we declare and decree, God, that where you're taking us spiritually, it will be such, God, that man will have no other choice but to give you glory, but to give you honor, and to give you all the praise. So, Father, we thank you now for what you're doing. Father, we won't be weary and well-doing, but we understand that we will reap if we faint not. So, Father, we thank you for spiritual strength. We thank you, Lord, that even when we don't feel like praying, Father, that something in our spirit will push us to pray. God, even when we don't feel like reading our words, we thank you for something in our spirit that will push us. Father, we thank you now for a push in the spirit when we feel weary. God, give us a push in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we bless you. We give you praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we expect to see a performance in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, somebody reach up and get your refreshing. Come on, somebody reach up and get your refreshing. Hallelujah. Come on, reach up and get your refreshing. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody just read back and just holler. Hallelujah. Woo. Come on, somebody online. Just walk around in your house and just say hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody just reach up and get your refreshing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Reach up. Get so refreshing, hallelujah. Woo! I don't know, but some of you like me, you've been serving since the pandemic. You ain't had no chance to sit home. We've been serving since the pandemic. Come on, reach up and get your refreshing. Oh, Lord. Somebody help me up in here.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We certainly thank the Lord for these these few hours, these couple of hours we've come together to pray and to intercede and to honor him. The Bible said, if my people who are called by my name. The Bible said, if two or three of us touch and agree. The Bible said, men ought to always pray. Not to faint or get weary in praying and having conversations with God. Certainly want to bless all of the intercessors. We want to give God thanks and respect for all of our musicians who've sacrificed to come. For our technicians who are here, we appreciate you. Certainly for our praise singers, we appreciate them and our sound and all that has made these couple of hours what they should be. We pray a special blessing upon you or whatever you sacrifice to be here with us today. We pray that God will give you double. To those of you who are here with us in person, the blessings of the Lord be with you and overtake you. Those who are joining us by stream, virtually, we pray God's richest blessing upon you as well. As we bring these final moments to a close in this prayer session. We're looking unto the hills from which cometh our help. For every prayer request on the wall and for those who may be even at this moment engaging with us in their prayer requests. We look to the hills from which cometh our help. Lord God Almighty, all of our help comes from the Lord. We are not discouraged, nor are we dismay, but we know that all things are working together according to God's plans. We thank him for every battle that we have fought, that we are fighting, and that we will fight, for the battle belongs to the God. He's never lost a battle, and he's never embarrassed his people. Faith is the requirement. So as we bring this prayer time to a close, we're going to ask God right now to lift our faith so that as we pray over these prayer requests and those that may be in your heart and mind and you have not allowed us to have them, we still can pray for those secret prayer requests. The size of a grain of mustard seed is all the faith that God needs to work with. So we're going to pray first of all that he would encourage and enlarge our faith. That as we pray over these requests and believe God that in his own time by his own ways he will answer these prayer requests. He said if you call on me I will answer prayer. If you put your trust in me, I will never disappoint. So now, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we come before you. We thank you that you've caused us to walk in the light, the beautiful light. Walk where the dewdrops of mercy shine so bright. Thank you that you have smiled on us. You've caused us to triumph even when we thought we were losing. We come to you this morning because you said that we could. You said that we could come boldly to the throne of grace that we may find help in the time of need. We thank you for every petition, every request, every supplication, every praise, every moment of worship that has gone before you this morning. We know, Father, that you have sanctioned and sanctified 
this time of communication with you. We're grateful, Lord, because you've directed the intercessors and you've directed the prayer requests and you have caused us to be in triumph and victory on today. We thank you because you've enlarged our territory. <laughs> And you brought us into a place where we can say, in thee, O oh God, we trust. We don't trust in our own abilities, our intellect. We do not trust in our money or our fortune nor our fame. But our hearts are turned toward you. You are the giver of life. You are the sustainer and the provider. You are the consecrator, and we have come dedicated to you this morning. Father, we commit our ways to you. Use us, O oh God, these vessels of earth and clay. Use us for your honor and your glory. Turn the water of heaven and water our souls. Strengthen us on the inner man. Though the outward man perish daily, strengthen us on the inner man. Do not allow us to lose focus. Do not allow us to be distracted. But keep us, oh God, even when we're apart from each other. Keep us with our minds steadily stayed on Jesus. <sighs> Father, we lift you up. We call you the high God, the almighty God the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the Great Counselor, the Mind Regulator, the Heart Fixer. We call your name Jesus. That name, the mighty name G, the name that is above every name. Oh God, we bow to your name today. We worship you because you're the only true and living God. Pledge our allegiance and our loyalty to you. We are because you are. We function because you function. So, Father, we thank you this morning. Draw us nearer, blessed Lord. Nearer to the cross. Consecrate us now. In the name of Jesus, let your blood cover. Keep us in such a way that the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts purify our thoughts, oh God. Guard us, oh God, from the way of the world so that we will not be succumbed to the ways of the world. We thank you, oh God, for you are our shield and our butler. You are our staff and our rod. You are the way maker. You are the path that we seek to walk in. Now, Father, much has been said, and we believe that much will be done. But there are some specific requests that have been brought to us for you. You said that we can bring them to you, that you will not, you will, you, you will not, you will not ignore them. Lord God but you will answer every prayer request. So Father, we call you in remembrance of your word that said if we ask, we could have it. If we seek you, we will find you. We call you in remembrance of your word that said there's a bomb that comes out of Gilead. We call you in remembrance of your word that says if you will call and we would pray and we would praise you, then you will enter into the atmosphere. We call you into remembrance of your word that we will ne you will never leave nor forsake us, that we will not fail and you will not turn your hearts from us. We call you in remembrance of your word that says if we walk in the light, if we walk after your word, then you will give us those desires of our hearts. Somebody has a request for healing. Somebody has a request for deliverance. Somebody has a request for finances. Somebody has a request for salvation. 
Somebody has to make a decision and they don't know which way to go. So they're trusting you to be the kind of God that can help them to make the right decision. Somebody has to enter into the hospital. Somebody don't know where their next meal is coming from. Somebody has a request for job employment. Somebody has a request for you to be the lifter of their head. Somebody has a request for you to be the spiritual father. So Father, we bring these requests before you. Somebody has a request just to go closer to you. <laughs> Somebody has a request just to handle the trial and the persecution. Somebody has a request to handle the discouragement and the dismay. Somebody has a request because their mind is confused and everything they touch does not turn out the right way. But Father, we lift up every request. Somebody has a request for their ministry gifts. Somebody has a request to be used in a special way by you. Whatever these requests are, Father, we lift them up to you. For you promised to be a hearing God. You promised that you would hear us. You promised that you would sanctify our way. So Father, we pray now that before this year is over, these requests that are before you, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open up the windows of heaven, pour out fresh oil, answer every prayer request, move on every prayer warrior's heart, help them to know that there is nothing that you will not do. Help them to realize that you have not forgotten them. Sometimes, Father, we feel that you've forgotten, but help us to realize that you have not forgotten, that you will not let one, not one re request, not one petition go unnoticed or unanswered. We pray like the Israelites prayed. When they said to Moses, speak, Lord. <laughs> speak through your manservant. Speak, Lord. Speak through me today. Speak, Lord. Give encouragement. Give refreshment in the name of Jesus. Now enlighten us, oh God. Strengthen the hands of every warrior. And help us to know that the best is really yet to come. So, Father, we thank you. We give you honor. We give you praise. Bless our church, Lord God. Bless the greater, Lord God. Bless the road to greater. We know that you have a time set to do what you said you're going to do. So help us to be anxious for nothing. But everything with prayer and supplication, allow our requests to be made known to you. For you're going to build a sanctuary. You're going to build an edifice that will be to your glory and your honor. So remember the road to greater. Strengthen our pastor's heart. In the name of Jesus, let him know that his days are not only numbered, but his days are prolonged. He will live to see what you promised. For you will allow him to lay eyes on that that you have settled in his heart. Remember all of our administration. Bless our pastoral team. Remember every member of this church. In the name of Jesus. Remember every member of this church. In the name of Jesus. Remember every friend to this church. In the name of Jesus. Remember all of our business acquaintances. In the name of Jesus, remember our bankers. In the name of Jesus, we call out Eagle Bank. We call out Truist. We call out Bank of America. We call out our bank financial institutions. In the name of Jesus, remember our community, oh God. Remember the businesses that surround this church. Remember the apartments that are being built around this church. Let this church be the beacon light in this community. In the name of Jesus. 
bless Calvary in a special way. Now, Father, we dedicate our lives to you. We're not afraid. We dedicate our lives to you. We stand in your service as servants of the Most High God. Now, bless us and carry us on and carry us through. Ease the heavy load of someone who's carrying one. Ease the heavy load of anyone who's carrying a heavy load. We speak like your word says, let the strong bear the infirmity of the weak. So who is ever carrying a heavy load, whoever feels so bogged down, we pray now for every intercessor and prayer warrior. Put some of that on us. Ah, God, put some of that on us. Help us to be somebody's cross bearer. Put that on us today. Put it on us, God. Give them light. Put the heaviness on us today. We can handle it. We're strong in faith. Now bless us and cause us to be a blessing. We're going to be careful and intentional to give your name all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. For the next few seconds, we're just going to lift our hands and worship. the smoke of your presence. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Woo! Yes, Lord, our souls say yes to you. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, Lord. of your love. Thank you for the strength of your word. Thank you for the power of your praise. Exhale your glory. <sighs> Tabernacle with you. Marvelous are the works of your hand. Mighty are the works of your hand. And our tears give strength to our bones. And our supplication give peace to our mind. And our simple worship. it all be pleasing in thy sight. In your name we pray. Clap those hands for the last time and let's let's celebrate the God. Come on, let's celebrate the God who answers prayer requests. Come on, let's celebrate the God who hears the voice of his intercessors. Let's celebrate God who pays attention to his prayer warriors. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining me today. To all the fathers, I trust that this is the beginning of a wonderful celebration for you as we continue to bless God for you on tomorrow. Have a great day. And know that nothing, no sacrifice, no time you come in God's presence never goes unnoticed by God. Be blessed until we can celebrate again. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.